Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we are going to talk about the history of the Four Seasons. Antonio Vivaldi is a genius and truly stands out as the most creative among the host of composers who brought the Italian Baroque style to its zenith. His work sues the perfection of the 17th century Italian opera and concerto formats. Vivaldi's The Four Seasons is a set of four concertos. The generalized views suggest concertos as a conversation between a solo instrument or multiple solo instruments and a wider ensemble. Antonio utilized the violin as the sole instrument in The Four Seasons. The Four Seasons was a musical score created to honor four descriptive sonnets about each season, for sonnets in all. No one is sure where the sonnets originate, so most historians allude to the rumor that Vivaldi wrote the sonnets himself. The Four Seasons movements are actually part of a larger body of 12 total concertos, including the Four Seasons. The larger work is called, The Contest Between Harmony and Invention. Spring. The concertos offer their own musical exhibition through all players, the soloists burning the brightest. Spring starts with the clarity and crispness of a typical spring day, accompanied by the choirs of birds and streams. It is invaded by a sudden thunderstorm, but the singing birds soon regain dominance. The movement ends with a lively country dance, with inhabitants celebrating the return of the fauna and flora after a harsh winter. Summer The summer offers a slow start, portraying the weather as too hot for any movement. The air is almost at a standstill, the birds chirping away lazily until a breeze gathers up, whipping the warning of an imminent storm. The most striking moment is served in the third movement, as a hailstorm mercilessly rains down, offering a perfect contrast. Autumn Autumn makes a return to the clarity resembling spring, with similar musical themes in the first movements. The country folk rejoice once again, celebrating the harvest by drinking wine. The tempo drops significantly, in parallel to the peaceful sleep that engulfs the people. The final movement illustrates a hunt, taking us back to a 14th-century Italian genre, caccia, where songs were utilized to glorify hunts via voice cannons. Winter The concertos end with winter. The opening movement resembles a shivering person, stamping his feet in rhythm to stay warm. The middle movement portrays the pleasure of getting warm inside through a crackling fire. The final movement offers people outdoors walking down icy paths, while people inside houses feeling the relentless chill finding its way inside. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.